The second part of calculus is not talking about slopes really anymore. It's talking about areas and areas under curves. So you start normally by just estimating what those areas would be. The idea is if you had y equals x squared plus 2 like, like this, you would have a curve, something like that. And they normally give you some range to look for the area under. So we're going to say uh, from 0, x equals 0, to x equals 2. And then specifically, we're going to be using four left-sided triangles. Sorry, left-sided rectangles. So to estimate the area, we think, all right, we're going to go over to 2, but we're going to divide this into four rectangles, and we're going to fit those rectangles underneath the curve. Um, and then if you take the area of all the little rectangles, that'll be a little bit like the area completely under the curve here. So four left-sided triangles means that the height of the rectangle is going to be based off the left side of the interval. And another thing to take away from this is the rectangles on, a, on this example are always going to be underneath on this side. So this is going to be an underestimate of what the actual area is. And so what we do then is we look at each one of these rectangles and we find the area by just multiplying length times width. So I'm just marking the hashes here on my graph. And for the first rectangle, like rectangle 1, we have to do width times height. Now the width is going to be very easy for all these rectangles. It's always going to be 0.5. But then the height is when we plug in the left side of the rectangle to find the height. So for R1, if we want to find the height, the height is going to be y equals 0 squared plus 2. So really the height is 2. So this is a 0.5 by 2 rectangle. All right, the next rectangle is also 0.5 wide, but we have to use 0.5 to figure out the height right there. So for R2, this rectangle here, to find the height, we do 0.5 squared plus 2. And this comes out to be, 1.5 is 0.25 after you square it, so this is going to be 2.25. And so we're going to do 0.5 times 2.25. And unfortunately, to estimate this way, you need to do just, just plug the numbers in and keep working it out. The next rectangle, like R3, is going to be a still a width of 0.5, but we're going to multiply by the height here, which would be 1 squared plus 2, and that's going to be 3. Lastly, for rectangle 4, we're going to be doing 0.5 times 1.5 squared because that's the left side right there. And 1.5 squared turns out to be 2.25. So the total is going to be 4.25 for the height. OK, now one other thing that you may notice, every one of these is times 0.5. So a lot of people will write 0.5 for the width, and then they'll add up all the heights. So 2 plus 2.25 plus 3 plus 4.25, because I could factor out a 0.5 from each one of these. The point here is that the area, when you add it all up, comes out to be 5.75 units squared. And again, this is an underestimate. So this is only going to tell you uh, what the lower limit for this area is. And we want to get better and better results. So you might ask, well, how do we get better results? The answer, plain and simple, is divide it up into smaller and smaller rectangles. Because if we have the same curve with lots and lots and lots of little rectangles, there's going to be less and less error. OK, so we're going to do another one. We're going to use the same curve. We're still going to do y equals x squared plus 2, but we're going to use for right side rectangles over the same interval. Okay, so 
let's do another graph here. This is 2, 1, and then we cut it up into four sections. So our other locations are 0.5 and 1.5. Now right-sided rectangles mean we take the spot on the right side of the interval and bring it over to create a rectangle. Okay, so in this case, based on this curve, we're going to, after we draw, draw the picture, it's easy to see that this is going to be an overestimate. We're going to be collecting more area than is actually under the curve. So I'm going to actually label these R1, R2, R3 again, R4. And the area is just going to be the area of each one of these rectangles. Now for R1, again, every one of these is going to have a width of 0.5. And for R1, the width, or the height, I'm sorry, is not when we put 0 in, we're going to go off the right side. So that would be 0 0.5. So 0 0.5 squared plus 2, we already did this. If you look at that, that was for R2, 2.25. Now again, I'm factoring out a 0.5, and I'm just doing adding all the heights here. This is kind of a shortcut, so you don't have to write out 0.5 times every time. The R2 now is going to be based off of when we plug 1 in. And when we plug 1 in, we get 3. 1 squared plus 2 is 3. The next interval is going to be based off of the right side of R3, which is 1.5. And that height is going to be 4.25. And then on the last one, it's going to be based off of 2 on the right side. So 2 squared plus 2 is 6. All right, when we crunch those numbers, I get 7.75 units squared for the area under the curve. So compared, that this one up here, our first, is an underestimate. This one is an overestimate. And so you would assume that the area probably is somewhere around 6.25 or so. So now you should try this. Find the area under y equals x squared on the interval 1 to 5. And you should use, like we did before, four right-sided triangles. And right side is important. Make sure that you are getting heights based on the right side of your rectangles. Okay, so we are going to go over the answer now. Here's a picture of y equals x squared. And we're going from 1 to 5 so it's going to look something like this the area under there and if you feel like you don't have an accurate idea of what the graph looks like you could always graph it on Desmos to verify um, now we have to divide this into four rectangles and it's important that we do right-sided rectangles so I always draw a point on the curve and go left starting from the right side so everything's based off the right side. Okay, and this is going to be an overestimate of the area because our boxes cover more than what the area actually is. So the area is going to be every interval here is one, two, three, four. So it's actually going to be just a width of one times everything. And I'm going to do the shortcut where you put the width out front and then you add up all the heights. And so you can just do one multiplication. Now let's think about this. If we were to plug in 2, we would get 4. So the first height is 4. Plug in 3, we would get 9. Plug in 4, we would get 16. Plug in 5, we would get 25. 13 plus 16 is 29 and 29 plus 25 is 54. Okay, and so that's our estimate. This is in units squared, and it is an overestimate. The actual area underneath there is about 41, and that is pretty far off. Um, but it's just because these numbers, when you start squaring 5, you get large numbers like 25. And remember that if we always wanted to get better accurate results, more accurate results, we could be doing maybe 10 boxes in there. It would just require a little more work.